I've actually noticed people seem to get jealous of the hat. I mean, it's understandable, really. Hey. Let's drop it. You never know. Oh, it's too far. Hey, you got a Panzer three. Uh, bombs away. Oh no, Gunner's unconscious. Yeah, we got one. Come on, Wellington. I believe in you. No. Not the Wellington. Wellington doesn't give up. Well, what on earth is going on? Here we go. It's our only chance to do anything to this guy. Yes! Get him, Wellington. No! <laughs> Come on, Wellington. Soft landing. <laughs> Soft landing. Yes, Wellington. We got him. We got him. <laughs> yep. Sounds like there's a couple of them, though. Hard to tell with the friendlies up. Try to just get this guy on his pass. There we go. Perfect shot. I don't think we win this one, but that Wellington dogfight has made my day. That was hilarious. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name's Tony. Today we're going to be playing out the first lineup suggested in the comments. And today's lineup is going to be from Desert Fox, who says, Hey Tony, two days ago you asked me about a tank I suggested a long time ago, and it was the Sherman II from the British Tech Tree. Now this sparked an idea in my head. He suggested we take it with a Spitfire and the Cromwell, and yeah, that's a really good lineup, without a doubt. But I thought we'd spice it up a bit. Why don't we try and drop a British nuke? Now, Mr. Wellington here has a little secret weapon. Well, little, enormous secret weapon. And that's a £4,000 bomb, with a TNT equivalent of nearly 1,400 kilograms. This bomb is huge. It's just a barrel underneath the belly of the plane. We are, of course, going to be taking it out with the Sherman II and the rest of the suggested lineup. And the Sherman II is an interesting tank. It sits 0.4 higher than the American version, which is, as far as I can tell, identical in every single way. It's the same tank, other than one key thing. The British Sherman II is actually the first tank in the entire world to have spaced armour made of composite materials. Now, what's so unique about this composite spaced armour? Material. Full disclosure, I'm obviously joking, this does absolutely nothing other than look slightly strange. And I have absolutely no idea why this tank is 0.4 higher than the American version, other than the fact it has a wooden box. And apparently the wooden box adds 4mm of structural steel, which I suppose we could use to our advantage. Now we'll be using two other vehicles with this lineup as well, and that'll be the Cromwell and the Spitfire, Mark 2B. Alright, so just before we jump into the game, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and possibly subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. And let's get going. Okay, so game one. An oh, baby. Looks like we got a good map for this. Well, less the map and more the mode. We got Conquest. Which is perfect for what we're trying to do. Unfortunately, the Wellington is an absolutely horrendous bomber. But. It's got a massive bomb. What more do you need from a bomber? Other than stability, speed and guns that can actually deal with tanks. Alright, nuke away. We're RTV. Pray this one works. Let's watch it. Go barrel. Yeah! We got an R3! <laughs> we only got an R3. Alright, I'll try and land see if we can do it again. Give me them flaps, baby. Oh, don't give me the flaps. Don't give me them flaps. Well. Those wheels weren't entirely uh, extended there. 
All right, target zone acquired. Away bomb. Do me proud. And we're on the guns. Yeah, we got him. What's our bomb doing? Yeah! Woo! We got one engine. <laughs> know what? What's the repair cost on this? 4,000. <laughs> I'm going to do something really stupid. And I'm going to jump back in a tank. Or a Spitfire. Let's get our target. That's not our target. Gun is reloaded. Oh no! <laughs> he got us! We're going down! No! Fake Joe! I think I hit a tree. Oh, a critical hit with artillery! That's kind of rare. Uh oh. German. Ah, German. Kill the German. Uh oh. Oh! A little bit of MG does the trick, apparently. Get rid of him. And where'd he go? Stuck. Get rid of him. Now we'll attack the A point. Nice. Oh no! A Swede! Oh, it's a close game. Let's see if we can help out our friend here. Uh, He's actually in trouble to this truck. Got him. Got a plane. Stuka. Not sure what he's doing. I think he may have just bombed himself. Do you want some stealth belt, sir? Have some. Yes. Now we just got to get A. I've got no tanks left. Oh my goodness, I forgot how manoeuvrable these planes are. Can I help you? A Swede. Where are our cannons? Just gotta get that truck. If we can. Might not be able to. Some good hits. Not enough. <laughs> not sure where those bombs were going. <laughs> Clearly not the right place, though. Damn you, Swede. Damn you! Right, let's get ourselves straight to B. Pick off a few guys and jump in the welly. Come on, Crom. What are you doing? Put artillery down early, because you know they're going to be there soon in the blooming battalions. I mean, if this T-14's pushing up, I might as well push up as well. Go to my favourite spot. Oh my, there's a lot on the other side of B. Guy here, though. It's like our teammates got him dealt with, though. Might be able to help him out here. Oh, we're not getting through that guy. T-34. Got a Sherman. Go and find this Cromwell. I'd probably play more low tier. Uh, simulator vassals if it wasn't for all the 
captured vehicles, honestly. Just puts me off. Mind you, it's pretty easy to tell by the camo if you're careful. That how we're gonna play this, is it, KV? Well, I'd play it better. What happens that Panzer IV? Awesome. Zombie. Not anymore. There's loads of them over here. Get the Swede. Buy Swede. Still one on B by the looks of it. What is it? A very strangely positioned KV. There we go. The corner of that armor there. And let's roll on to B. I'm alright if you want to take me out because I want to jump in my welly. Who? Who dares shoot the sherm? Leave my friend alone. Right, that's it. I want him to get me. I want to get the welly before it's too late for welly. It may already be too late for welly. Hello, boys. Free kill here for you. Truck. He's bad for our welly. Yes. Get me. I'm all yours, this. Yes, Wellington time. Oh, they're decapping C. Oh, come on. We might have time. We might actually have time. Not enough to be worth it, I think. We can drop it on this guy. He died. Of course he died. Wellington never gets to enjoy destruction. Come on, Wellington, let's go back to base. I know you're sad. We'll get you again, I promise. Let's do a flip in our Wellington. Come on, that's aesthetic. What is that, and can I kill it? Not as much as I would have liked to have. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me, please. Please don't shoot me. I don't want you to. Yes. It's now time for the bomb. Where are we going to put it? I may have dropped it a little short there. Uh. We shall see. Oh. Yeah, we got one. Oh, it was not it BT5. Not much of a BT5 left anymore, though. Lovely. Oh, these big bombers really float when you got the flaps out. You've got to get your flaps out and you just float. Float along. Where are you hiding, enemies? Tell me your secrets. Drop it there. There's got to be one hiding there somewhere. Soon find out. Attempt not to fly to their airfield as well. And that 
we'll see what the bomb does. Find oh, yeah, Chaffee! Woo! There was a few there. Surprised we didn't get more. Ooh, look at that! ASU. Okay, Welly. Enemies are on A, and they're also on B. Drop it right there. Right now we pray. Yay! Oh, good target, actually. Oh no, the Welly! That's right, come to Papa. Where do you think you're going? I knew there was an AA down there. Let's see if we can deal with him. He's about to pop out, I think. Oh, it was a truck. We know how dangerous trucks are. Well, unfortunately, I didn't talk much over the first portion of this game because I was hoping to get straight out of the Cromwell and into the Welly, but... I did have a couple of decent kills in it. I'm not so sure that the Sherman... The Cromwell has anything on the Sherman, though. This tank is so good. Yeah, I see you. I see you over there. I hear something front, though. That's why we've got a stabilizer, right? Oh, SU-85. Look at that, baby! That's pretty nice. Uh oh. Looks like we're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, you know I'm here. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. I need to flip back round for A, but with our reverse gear, it's pretty difficult. We're going to do it, though. Now's the time, and we just got tracked, so now isn't the time, apparently. And there is one coming out here. It's T-34. That's a scary guy. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Oh, if we weren't tracked there, I would have had him. I don't know how that didn't go through his turret. That's alright though. Gives us a chance to take out Spit. <gasps> Ooh, I like the look of you. You look like something I can kill. Oh my goodness. There we go. Did have to use some cannons there, unfortunately, but hey, got the job done. Worth it to take down one of those. 
Oh, I wish I had another tank, but I do not. Spitfire. Hey, I don't know. I quite like the Hispanos. At least against ground targets. Especially with those stealth belts. The stealth belts seem to re hit really hard on the Hispanos. GG, my friend. GG. Let me have a few more points by blinking you. Aha, uh -huh. killed you.